Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back here with another video of my tutorial series where I teach you guys React.js from the beginning. And today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make get requests or like fetch data from an API. However, I'm not going to be teaching you guys how to do it through the built-in JavaScript function called fetch. I'm actually going to be using a library called Xuse, which to be honest, I feel like it's the best way of fetching data of making HTTP requests. I always used it and I will never, I'll probably never change it. So there's not, not much difference between doing it on one way or another. The thing is, I find this way a lot easier and faster. So basically we have here an API called aws.random.cat slash meow, which is a very dumb and simple API. It literally, when you call this, it will return a, a JSON with the link to a random image of a cat. And basically you can see that when I refresh it, it will always be a different image. What, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to fetch, fetch that, that image through that URL, URL and I'm and going, going to display the image in my application, which currently is completely empty. empty. So, so first thing we need to do is install the Axios library. library. I've, I've already installed, installed it. it. However, if you want to install, you can go to your terminal and write npm install Axios. And uh, it's very fast. Just install it and come back here. So. What we need, we need to do, to do is we need to import, import Axios. Axios. So, so let's, let's import, import it. it. Import, import Axios, Axios from Axios. Axios. Okay. okay. So, so how are we going to do, do this? Is we're going to have, have a, a, a state, state called URL, URL and, and a function, function for, for that state, state called set URL. URL. And, and it's basically going, going to be a string, string right? right? So, so it's going to be a string, string that, that starts, starts empty, empty, but whenever, but whenever we fetch, fetch that information, information, whenever we whenever get the image, image, we want to set the image URL, URL equal to this state. state. And, and we're going to do, do this, this by using the use effect hook. hook. So, so use effect. effect. And, and uh, by the way, I already reported these this two hooks. hooks. You can see up here. If you haven't, just do it now because you need to import them. So, so in our in our use effect, effect, I only want to do it do once. So, so let me add an empty array next, next to the next to the curly braces. braces. And inside, and inside of here, I want to I want to make the get, get request. request. So, so how you make how you a get, get request, request is very simple. simple. You just you write just the, the X use or the name you chose up here. You write dot get. And inside, and inside of here, here you put the, you put the URL. URL. In our in case, case, the API only has one URL. URL. You don't even you need, need an API, API key. key. So you just so you copy just and paste this over here. Over here. And, and you can come, come here. here. And, and this, this will, will simply return, return the value, value right? right? However, However this, is this is also a promise. promise. So you can so just, you just write dot then. then. And, and inside of here, create a function. How, what How, this what means is basically, basically and I haven't, and I haven't taught, taught you guys taught promises, promises yet. yet. However, However basically, basically means that it will first get the post, post request, request and then and after, after it gets, gets the information, information it will run whatever, whatever we write inside, inside of here. here. So, it's so it's basically asynchronous, asynchronous code. code. It just, just waits till, till it gets the information from the request we're making until it makes it makes a change or it does something, you know? So what we need to do is simply set the URL equal to the value we receive from here. And in order to get the value, value we, need we need to add, to add the, parameter the parameter right here, right here. let's call let's it value. value or we can call it URL, URL. Basically, basically this URL, this URL is, going is going to be equal to this this, this is what is always returning return. so, so in Exus you need to write URL, URL dot data, data in order to have, to have access, access to this, to this. So now, so now we, we URL, URL data, data is equal to equal this JSON, right? JSON, right? So, so we want to access, access the value, the value called, called the property or the key, or the key called file. file. So we can, so simply, we can simply write, write a, square a square bracket and, and a, string a string called file. file. And, now and now we're simply, we're simply setting, setting our URL, our URL equal, equal to whatever, to whatever is, over is over here. So down here down is where we're going to display our image. So let me write image. And in React, and in React you, can't, you, can't, um, uh, you can't write you can't image, image with an open and close tag. tag. You need to write an right, open an tag of image, image and a slash, and right, slash here. right here. And inside, and inside of here, here, let me write, let me write the, the SRC. SRC. So the SRC so the is SRC going to be equal to the URL, URL right? right? So, so let, let me save this. Save this. If you come, back, you come back, you can see that, can see that it's, it's, it, it, it already it shows, shows the image, right? The image, right? However, However, I want to be more specific. specific. I also I want to uh, uh, only call only this, call only display the image whenever, whenever the URL, the URL is, is not, not empty, empty, right? So, right, so if I write for right, URL, URL not equal, not to, equal to an empty string, empty string. Then, then I want to show this. So let me come down here. 
and close, and this. close this. Okay. Okay. So you can see so that whenever, can see that whenever we, refresh, we refresh, it will show, it will show a, different a different image of a cat. Of a cat. I know this is a really dumb really API. API. It has it probably, has no, probably use no use case other than, other than making this simple, simple, like teaching, like teaching you guys how to make HTTP requests. But this is, I think, a very easy example of how to use Axios. There's also other ways in the next videos. I'm probably going to be teaching how to make post requests, how to work around with Axios, trying to make more complex projects. But this is probably one of the introductions to one of the most, important, of the most important, important topics, topics in, web in web development, which is, which is making, requests making requests to the server. To the server. This isn't, this our, isn't server. our server. This is just, this is just a, an, API, an API, as I mentioned. As I mentioned. However, However, probably, probably when, I when I finish the series, I'm going to be I'm making, be making uh, uh, Node.js and Express, and Express series, series where I'm going, going to be making definitely HTTP requests to a server that I create. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please stick around to see the next video if you're liking the series. And I see you guys next time.